What if I told you that Mars, the silent, lifeless desert you see today, was once alive with rivers, lakes, and perhaps even oceans? That every rock, every grain of dust in this panorama is not just barren stone, but a clue to a world that may have looked like Earth itself. These tracks carved across the Martian soil are not random marks. They are humanity's first signatures on another planet, proof that we are already shaping history millions of kilometers from home. In this video, I'm going to show you secrets about Mars you've never seen before, so don't even think about skipping. Welcome to All About Mars Surface. Billions of years ago, this silent world was not the barren desert we see today. Mars once breathed with a thicker atmosphere, wrapped in a protective blanket that allowed warmth to linger, rivers to flow, and lakes to glisten beneath a softer, warmer sun. Imagine standing here then, not on dry, rust-colored soil, but beside the shore of an ancient ocean stretching across the northern plains. Waves might have crashed, winds might have carried clouds across the sky, and somewhere in that dynamic world, conditions may have been just right for life to spark. Look at these rocks scattered across the panorama. To the untrained eye, they seem random, lifeless, meaningless. But their shapes, their erosion, their composition, they are storytellers. They whisper of a Mars that was once active, alive with geologic forces. Orbiters circling high above have traced the dry veins of riverbeds, the remains of deltas where water once pooled, the outlines of shorelines now abandoned. These are not illusions. They are fingerprints, fingerprints of water, the most essential ingredient for life as we know it. But then, everything changed. Slowly, over millions of years, Mars lost the shield of its atmosphere. The relentless solar wind from the sun stripped it away, atom by atom. Without a blanket of air to trap heat, Mars grew colder. Without pressure, liquid water could no longer remain stable on the surface. It either evaporated into space or froze deep beneath the ground. What we see today is the aftermath of that transformation, a frozen echo of a planet that once had the potential to be Earth's twin. Mars has not surrendered all of its secrets. Even now, orbiters detect glimmers of water ice beneath the surface. Polar caps grow and shrink with the seasons, Radar hints at underground lakes, briny and hidden, where liquid water may still exist in the shadows. If true, those reservoirs could be sanctuaries, perhaps for microbial life, perhaps for resources that one day will sustain human explorers. Now shift your eyes back to the ground in this image. Notice the sweeping curves etched into the dust. These are not natural patterns. They are the deliberate marks of human machines. The rover's wheels have carved their story into Martian soil, leaving behind evidence that we have touched this alien world. Each track is more than a line in the dust. It is a signature of our curiosity, proof that we are capable of reaching across the void of space and leaving a mark on a world that has never known us. To scientists, even these tracks carry meaning. The way the soil collapses under weight, the way fresh layers are exposed beneath the surface, the way dust behaves when disturbed. These details reveal the planet's character. Is the soil compact or loose? Does it hold hidden moisture? What minerals lie beneath? Every rotation of a rover wheel is an experiment. Every footprint of machinery, a page of Martian history opened for the first time. And beyond the soil, look to the horizon. 
The air is thin, the sky tinted in a pale, rusty glow. That haze is not made of water clouds, but of dust. Fine particles suspended endlessly move by weak winds that can still whip into global storms. This dust is more than an obstacle. It is a time capsule, preserving the story of Mars's ancient volcanoes, its violent impacts, its shifting climate. With every mission, scientists study how this dust behaves, not only to understand Mars's past, but to prepare for the day humans must survive it. Mars speaks in two voices. One is a voice of silence, of loss, a world where oceans have disappeared, rivers no longer flow, and the air itself is too thin to carry a whisper. The other voice is one of hope and persistence, because beneath the ice, within the dust, and across the landscapes, clues remain that Mars still holds potential, not just for discovery, but for life itself. Think about this. If microbial life ever emerged here, it might still cling to existence, hidden deep underground, waiting for us to uncover it. For all we know, Mars may be the second place in our solar system where life took root. A reminder that we are not alone, that biology is not unique to Earth. And if life never began here, then Mars still teaches us another lesson, that worlds can change, climates can collapse, and planets that once thrived can become barren. In that sense, Mars is not only a window into the past of another world, it is a warning for the future of our own. But beyond warnings and mysteries, Mars is also a promise. These rover tracks stretching across the dust are not just machine marks, they are a rehearsal. One day, human footsteps will join them. Astronauts will walk across these planes, build shelters against the thin air, and look up at Earth as a pale blue star in the sky. From these barren horizons, future generations may grow food, draw water, and write the next chapter of humanity, not confined to one planet, but spread across worlds. So when you look at this panorama, don't just see rocks and dust. See an ancient shoreline without water. See a canyon that once carried rivers. See the shadow of oceans that no longer exist. And above all, see the promise of tomorrow. Because this is not just Mars. This is our future home, waiting for us, silently, patiently, under the red sky. Billions of years ago, Mars wore a very different face. Its skies were thicker, its air warmer, and its surface painted with rivers and lakes. The northern plains may have been covered by a vast ocean, stretching further than the Atlantic. Imagine standing here then, not in silence, but beside the roar of water under a warmer Martian sun. Thank you for joining me on this journey across Mars. Through its ancient oceans, its dusty deserts, its towering volcanoes, and its uncertain future. If you found this exploration inspiring, don't forget to subscribe to All About Mars Surface and join us as we continue to uncover the mysteries of the Red Planet. This is All About Mars Surface. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys into the unknown. Thanks for watching.